things are looking up job wise online. I'm not gonna go yeah. into the details, but <sighs> why is the battle bus gold? Uh, it's the championship thing. Uh, did I actually stumble into a championship? Uh, no, it's just it's the season, so it's, it's like to celebrate. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay, Jesus, 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 and Jehoshaphat, Father, Mo Father, Father Joseph and Mary. Okay, Irish Boingo. <laughs> we can start whenever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what part of this vibes are giving me on the yeah. the Gavu opening? What? It's giving me like the the five's main crew, but like no, make I, it pop. I could like the song and the visuals like surprisingly compliment because I know the visuals are gonna be a bit darker based on the debut episode. And I was like, when I listened to the song by itself, I'm like, how's the bubblegum pop gonna work with this? It's like, no, they kind of fit it really well. No, what I'm saying is like we have we have a dude, we have the main writer, and we have a a, a female yeah. partial character, and they're going around helping people. It feels like Fies, but like make it bubblegum. Yeah, literally. It's I mean, it literally, the lyric end of the lyric is bubblegum pop or bubblegum, like bubblegum. I think is in the lyric in English. They say it in English. And you know what would fucking go hard as fuck? It would never what? happen because it's too violent. What is there's just a fight scene, and as he's fighting, some kind of like thing splatters onto his helmet. And it looks like blood. It's not meant to be blood, but it has that like. They could do that. I, I think. I think that can happen eventually. But like, just because of the 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 way it's seemingly going, is like it's the happiest go lucky dude with the darkest shit. Yeah, I could see that happen. I, I, like you're, you're not too, like I can see Toei and the production. I watched producers. that entire like bullfight, bulldog fight thing. That oh yeah. The fight was amazing. One of the best fights in Common Rider yeah. in quite some time. Yeah, they got the Geats action director back, so that's why. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it seemed pretty it was definitely fun to watch. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we gotta we gotta share Cody the full episode eventually, because I think he'd like the full picture of it. Yeah. It also has like a lot of body horror in it, Cody. Yeah. Like we were going like, oh, it's probably gonna have some body horror. It's like no. There's a lot of it. There's a good amount. Yeah, it's more subtextual right now, but like, it's not like like overtly like violent, violent. But it's no, like, but like the the stomach, the stomach mouths give yeah Jun Junji Ito vibes a little bit. Yeah, I kind of like how they played with the uncanny valley of like those kind of gummies, you know, mm -hmm. like and like to, to lean into the more horror aspect. But 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 oh, but. I noticed how the the dog guy had one on. Yeah, like most of the dog guy was like. Mouths on all of his joints. Actually, hold on. I could probably. Pretty sure. Ugh. Excuse you. Mm. Come on, dude. This could be it. This Excuse could be it. It could it's also be it. Be it. Oh my god, it. I did it. Hell yeah. I want you to know that every single run, I was shaving off like 10, like point. I don't even know how to call that. Mm. I was. The goal was like, do better than like 45.100 seconds. And I've been doing like 45s and then like I was like 40.8, 40.7, 40.7, 30, 7, 10, 6. Like, I think I just did this shit like 30 times straight up. Dang. I just posted a picture of the dude before he turns into a monster so you can see the fleshy monster mouth on his stomach. I'll go look right now. Can you hear me? Yeah, I we hear can you. hear you. Like, as soon as Cody gets a gives his opinion on that, we can start. Yeah, yeah. Why is uh whatever Gilligan Ma Matthew Filig Filligan Filligan the guy from a uh... <laughs> dude? What was the Adam Bomb movie? Mm -hmm. The movie about the Adam Bomb? The Oppenheimer? Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. The guy who played Oppenheimer. Cillian Murphy. Yeah. Yeah, that looks like Cillian Murphy. But Japanese, <laughs> all right. I, all right, Cody. All right. Whatever you say. It does. I'm sorry. It just looks like them. Like I, the I same... guess the glasses? Um... No, like the facial, like the mouth mainly. I can see that. I can see that. The mouth with like the same length of like head to hairline to eyes. And then also like he's got like a very like that style haircut of, well, common like. All right. Hello. Howdy. <laughs> howdy. <laughs> Congratulations. You have won a Cody cough. This is, uh, is modular components. How are you doing? We we just gonna shit around and treat the shit. Uh, I'm going a writer with me as always are my two compatriots. Say hello, compatriots. 
Hello, I am Buster Compatriot. And I am Snow Patriot, liberator of my <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're just here to vibe, and I'm I'm just trying to grind out Doctor Doom and Fortnite while these guys talk about gaming or whatever. I mean, the Fortnite is gaming. What am I talking about? Fortnite is yeah. the highest level of gaming. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. Yeah, what well, is well, this Capcom fighting collection? Sounds lame. No, I can't joke about that. That's awesome. I'm so excited for that collection. Uh, uh, yeah, because yeah. literally, like, uh, we haven't talked about it yet because we were talking about Bubblebee last week, but uh. Um, the Capcom at the Nintendo Direct uh, not only gave the release date for the Marvel vs. Capcom collection, which should be out when the time this podcast goes up, but also uh, they announced, hey, next year, Finding Collection 2, starring uh, the Capcom vs. SNK games, which is already crazy because they're putting it in a regular Capcom Finding Collection, and the part that almost made me cry tears of joy, uh, Project Justice slash Rival Schools. And, of course, we've got Power Stone, Plasma Sword, all those great games. Even Capcom Fighting Jam gets to be included. Ah, what a wonderful day. I love how all the people who've been talking about it are just shitting on Fighting Jam. And I'm just sitting here going, like, you know, I think it's kind of, like, admirable that Capcom's going, like, yeah, we'll give them a shitty game, too. Yeah. Like, it's part of our history. True. It's going to have some fans no matter what. Oh, yeah. I mean, people are already trying to do the revisionism on Twitter, as usual. There's got to be at least one horny Ingrid fan. Boingo, she looks 10. It's Buster. No, it's not. (laughs) I I don't know know the character. I was assuming it was the... uh, She is an all-powerful, like, time god. Yeah, That's the character. cat lady. I can see the, the bat cat- lady or the cat lady, but if it's neither, from dark, else, that's dark stalkers. <laughs> oh well, damn. Listen, they're not in Marvel vs. Capcom. They are in Marvel vs. Capcom. They're just like crossover characters, like because it's, it's the entire yeah. games are crossovers. Like yeah, Ingrid yeah. has only showed up in like two games, one of them being a re-release. Yeah, this this is the character Ingrid, Cody. Let me grab my phone. Grab your phone. Grab the phone. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Yeah, I told you, it's a child. Well, you know, she's actually 400 years old in oh, Dragon God. Years. Oh, my God. Not the Dragon Years excuse. Uh, remember remember when that was a meme, kids? Remember when that was an unfortunate trend and meme? Uh. Apparently, Waka Flocka has been going to a, a Pokemon convention. Oh, that's neat. And, and doing, like, free concerts. Like, the he likes world... Pokemon cards. Oh, like like was it like the recent world tour stuff where it's like hey it's like uh, I don't know I just saw him like hyping up a Pokemon crowd and, that's fine and it was like introducing Waka Flocka I mean, hey yo they got Post Malone for like an anniversary event it's like it was, they can get anyone at this point yeah I'm excited for Capcom Collection too yeah it's good it looks re- like uh, lots of quality games and like you know even fi- fi- including fighting jam is important i'd say too so yeah even as like, it's just like a historical footnote of just like hey this is the thing we tried it ain't great but here you go yeah and it's like hey maybe uh, you could play it online so we could get the like some really f- so maybe people could start taking it seriously online who knows no no, you're right. You're not even, it's not even on Fight. But it's not even on Fight Cade. Well, because it was only released on PS2, and they yeah. don't do a super ton of PS2 games. Yeah. Uh, but but no. that's, that's, it, that brings up the point. Power Stone wasn't an arcade game, too. I hope they do the Dreamcast version of Project Justice, just realized. Uh, it's the only version. Really? Was Project Justice never got an arcade port? Okay. No, I think it may have an arcade port, but I think it's based off of Naomi Hardware, which is... Yeah. Just a Dreamcast. Yeah, just a Dreamcast version at that point, yeah. Yeah, but the it, it's great that, like, we're already getting all those, like, 3D games, like, now that, like, we got the Naomi engine working. Well, Plasma Sword's not on Naomi. Yeah, that's... It's on a modified version. Man. Naomi was basically Sega going, like, here's the specs of a Dreamcast in an arcade cabinet. So you could build your arcade game <laughs> for Naomi... And then convert it to Sega Dreamcast super easy. That's why the Dreamcast has so many amazing arcade ports. Yay. Because it was designed from the ground up to be uh, to facilitate them. Okay. That's why Crazy Taxi is like one-to-one. There's no downgrade for Crazy Taxi. You think Crazy Taxi works better as a cabinet than a, a uh, controller game? I, I think so. There, there, have you played some... a Crazy Taxi cabinet, Boingo? I'm pretty sure that me and Boingo have probably played 
Like, there's no way you haven't gone to like a birthday party or something like that. Buster, and... Buster, 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 and Cody, but more mostly Buster. I have very fond, very vivid memories of whenever me and my father and my mother, so she was there too, but it was like me and my dad <laughs> uh, would leave Walmart and there was a crazy taxi cabinet. He, I would sit on his lap, he would do the pedals and I would drive and we Aww. would, whenever we would do that, it was just like, so I have very fond, distinct memories of Crazy Taxi. Crazy Taxi is one of my favorite games. This was like yeah. last year for Boingo too, so it's pretty important. Fuck off. <laughs> it was when Walmart was big. It's when Walmart was in the Big Lots building. Yeah, that's around Transformers Armada time, by the way, Buster. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you for the clarification code. Yeah, uh, Capcom SNK one, Capcom SNK two, Fighting Evolution, Fighting uh, Jam. Yeah, just I think Fighting Jam is a better name, honest. Uh, Street Fighter Alpha Three Upper. That's a dumb name. Um. <laughs> it's just saying it's the upper is the final arcade version that's what that means yeah uh, sadly no upper alpha 3 max which has like all the extra characters yeah um, uh power stone one and two project justice and plasma sword nightmare of bilstein uh yeah. plasma sword is the one that's like a star wars ripoff yeah you might get kick off plasma sword cody cool there's some wacky characters in uh, uh, Plasma Sword. There's like, uh, what is his name? Yeah, it's just Saturn. There's this dude. This is Saturn from Plasma Sword. He's Saturn from Plasma Sword. Let's go Here take you a go. look at Saturn from Plasma Sword. Whoa, That's okay, definitely a... not a little girl. <laughs> I'm a big fan of that. I'm an exceptionally large fan of this design. I love everything that's going on. Uh, there's also a Chewbacca like. That's his Piccolo. name is. His name is Gamoff. Yeah. Oh, oh that hey. alien was like that guy was just Piccolo. Uh, I but don't know yeah. about that. Uh, oh yeah, hold on. There's robots. Of course. Oh, yeah, let's see the robot designs. I'll judge it heavily based off of that. This is Vector. He's oh, that's a, one. that's a good one. That's a good one. I like. I that like one. the colors. And this is Omega. That's pretty good. Oh, I like that one more, much more. Good design. Uh, there's there's a Birdman. Bastion style mm. arms. Where's the Birdman? Where's oh, I'll the give Birdman? you the Birdman in a second. I was trying to get Bill Stein. That's Bill Stein. Okay, yeah, there, there's the winner. Which is it, Abe? Uh, he is the big bad. He's like, he's like the. Oh, that's a good. That's the Darth Vader. Yeah, he's Darth Vader. He's the big it's bad. Like if Megatron, Shredder, and Darth Vader went to Egypt and combined into. There's Bird Guy. His name is Zelkin. Oh hell yeah, dude! That's a that's a good that's a good bird. That's man. the Arbiter. What do you mean? That's exactly <laughs> the, the Arbiter. arbiter. <laughs> that's exactly uh, the Arbiter. This was before Halo Two, though. I know, but look. Yeah, yeah he has that vibe. Uh, this is a weirdo magician guy. His name's Gore. Gore. No, like, I'm kind of freaking out. That is so much the same exact proportion. Like, get a picture of the Arbiter in here because even the way the feathers hang down are in the same way as like the Arbiter's helmet. Um, yeah, he's literally it. holding an energy sword. He's got the same hands. Like the chances of somebody at Bungie being a fan of that specific character mm -hmm. might heavily be there because the head looks like if you squinted at a silhouette, it'd be the same silhouette minus the. One. Oh, I can see. I definitely can see it. I'm pulling up Arbitor right now. I'm trying to get a good clean. That is one of the coolest alien designs I've ever seen. I love that. Where's that in my Fortnite? Capcom in '90s was like they they, they were designing all sorts of top tier character stuff. Oh, There's Arbiter. Uh, yeah. Oh, you want to see the fucky the fucky weird cat man? Uh, always. Here, here's the funky weird cat man. His name's Biakio. Oh, that's very cool. Whoa, that's very cool. And then you have the normal human ass protagonist, Yato. It Yato's. almost looks like that design was supposed to be something else with a brain showing at the top. Yeah, Hiato is the only one who really get like crossover appearances after, which kind of sucks because like there's so many cool characters in Star Gladiator that I could mean, like he, the the Plasma Sword. I've Star seen the things before. Uh, uh, the Plasma Sword. The problem is uh, Project Justice. Uh, that franchise kind of took over as like Capcom's 3D representative. Yeah, like you like it, like. You are more readily to see if you have like a big. Here's all like the characters down to Earth. Here's all the characters of Capcom. You're more likely to see like a bunch of Project Justice characters than you are to see anybody from Plasma Sword. 
Yeah, and also just like as I mentioned, down they're more down to earth, like the Wait. Rival Schools characters than like the more out there Star Gladiators. Hang on, real quick though. So that character that looks like the Arbiter is from a the game called Plasma Sword. Yes. Yeah. So presumably the thing that looks like a plasma sword in his hand is a plasma sword. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean, they all have like what like that's the thing. Like plasma sword is kind of like Capcom's. Not exactly, but it's like Capcom's the, version of Soul Calibur. The very distinct and loved weapon of the Arbiter. <laughs> I'm saying, like, if this thing exists so long before the Arbiter, that is 100% where that design cue came from. Like, I, mean, I, don't, Cap- I don't know. I don't know if you could get lucky like that. I mean, Capcom's just goaded with design. Like, yeah, even these days. Yeah, but the plasma sword splits in the exa- same exact way. And it comes from the same exact. I don't know. I don't know. I'm freaking out. Whatever. <laughs> it's like cool Cody might have fought with uh, some, some, some pot of gold. Yeah, no. I, here's the thing a lot of people are super excited for a lot of the games. I love Star Gladiator. It's fucking. That's just so much my jam. I am super hyped for Plasma Sword <laughs> getting a re release. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully we get like a Fight and Collection 3 of all the PS1 games. And hey, maybe that's a great maybe a Fight and Collection 3 could be a perfect time for the EX games. Uh. Ooh, yeah, I mean uh they uh uh they so they so regularly work with uh, uh Akira, yeah. And like I'm pretty sure they'll be down Rika, to like port yeah. those games. And then of course there's Power Stone. Which is just gonna be ha- fun chaos like, yeah, party stuff. It's three D Smash Brothers is the best way to put it. Not even in just like in playstyle, but just in like tone. Well, it's there's like also it's, like it's also like a playstyle that's so regularly ripped off. Like a lot yeah. of games have Shrek ripped off. Super Slam, <laughs> Shrek Super Slam, that One Piece game I played growing up. Yeah, like a pirate adventure. There, there's a couple One Piece games like it. Mm-hmm. There's a fat chef in Power Stone too, yeah. and he has a di- you know? and he turns into a dinosaur. Papino. <laughs> when I see, sorry, I'm sorry. When I hear fat chefs, I'm like Papino Pizza Tower. Because that's part of the the gimmick of Power yeah. Stone. If you've never played it, Cody, uh, is there is a Power Stone, and when you grab it, you get a transformation. Yeah, like uh, some, some people turn into armor. Some people like get mystical powers. Some people like like the cowboy turns into a ninja robot. Yeah, I love the I love that. It's like a beetle. That's like the a beetle car robot. That pizza chef is exceptional. Yeah. Well, let's stop talking about it. good gaming news. Oh, look at this, like, games getting preserved. Oh, what a gr- cruddy thing. Let's get negative now. <laughs> uh, any uh, final words on Fighting Collection 2, Blanco? Uh, I'm just going to show him Pete from uh, Power Stone 2. Here you go. Yeah, that's, Pete, yeah Pete's so a, that's a very Cody core character, I'd say. Must be cold on that robot planet that that robot's from. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, uh, I just noticed the nipples. The, the freaking robot, like, taser stuff. Oh, whatever. That's a good-ass design, right? There. Oh, and it's a Pinocchio style. Okay, that's even doper. Wow. Love that. We'll turn you into a hardcore Capcom fan yet. Yeah, somehow. I already like Capcom. I like, yeah, like, but we may make it more Capcom. I'm kidding. More Girl, Capcom! I got, I got my little, uh... I got this sitting right over here next to me. Yeah, the Mega Man. Megish Man. Oh, how do you already know? Damn because I figured, because like Cody, robots, Mega Man, Capcom, Mega Man, it's, you know? It's Mega Man and the little yellow, like, uh, capsule box guys. Art, oh my god, art. I didn't realize. I'm on Capcom's fighting w- website for the game. Yeah. They have the the Cap group and the SNK group art for all the characters. Yeah, they got all the, like, the Shinkiro, like, and the... It's, yeah, because like the the cool thing about uh, Capcom versus SNK is that they got like two artists from each company to just draw like all the characters in their distinct styles. That's cool because it's like a celebration of both of their their franchises. Yeah. Because like on the website, just looking at it, it's just like it's you just see the SNK and SNK art style and the Capcom and Capcom style, and I was like, oh okay, whatever. It's like no, they're both on the website. That's fucking cool. He, he's writing. I will peep that in just a moment. Yeah. All right. Do you oh, want to talk lovely. about the freaking Sony screw ups of recent memory? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, goodbye, Concord. <laughs> yeah, literally, we didn't even have a chance to talk about its failure on the podcast before it got shut down like two weeks and two weeks. You can't play it anymore. And everyone got refunds, apparently. What happened? They just avoided it. 
Yeah, the, it was just, nope, we're canceling, we're stopping the game. It's hilarious. Yeah, it is crazy funny, but also crazy like, oh man, you guys really wasted all that money and time. You wasted ten years of development on that. Yeah. And you closed down so many studios for that. Oh. It, it is. The industry is cooked. This is a big turning point. Concord is a big turning point, I'd say. I, I hope this is the uh, this is the big red flag for everyone, for all these companies to realize, hey, live service games need to be thought a little bit more carefully. You just can't, you just can't shotgun them. Yeah, that's it. That's, uh... I mean, at least Warhammer 40k is doing amazing. Yeah, yes. like, here's the thing. Live service games aren't Inherently it's not a bad. Live service game. Well, I guess yeah. it kind of is. I mean, you guys are playing a live service game. You're playing Fortnite right now. Well, like I'm not playing. I'm only playing Fortnite. Cody's playing something else. I mean, in macro, y'all are playing Fortnite. Yeah, yeah. You get what I mean. But it's like, like, there, there, there's only like room for a couple live service games, and like if you want to do another, you got to make sure to appeal to that niche very carefully. You want to make sure you're doing something different. Instead of being derivative. And Concord is absolutely nothing to appeal to anything. Yeah, it is. Like, who is this game for? Uh, investors. It is uh, ugly. It's an ugly investors game. It is bad. Uh, and uh, sadly, all the people who want to make funny YouTube videos mocking it can't anymore. Dang. Maybe that's maybe that's why they killed it that fast. Because they didn't want to get clowned on for the next month. <laughs> I mean, they're already getting up. clowned on. Hold and on. like Luke. They didn't want to get clowned on leading up to the Christmas sales event. Ah, yeah. That's probably why. And, like, you know what just came out, like, on the day Concord died? Astrobot. Yep. And that that can be their big holiday pusher now. So. Uh. I, I also love how there's several costumes in Astrobot of all the IPs that Sony executives say, we need IPs. We don't have any IPs. This is like, what are you talking about? There's an you entire, just released a game. You have an entire game celebrating them all. Yeah, and like, actually, like, something I love about Astrobot, uh, they didn't just go with Sony stuff. They went with, like, people who, like, contributed to the PlayStation legacy. Like, mm -hmm. you have some fighting game characters, like, uh, Boy, do you care about Astrobot spoilers about like what? No, I saw so bad guy. Yeah, so bad guy. That's the one I wanted to talk about. Uh, it's he, not it, was, even... it was Crusade's Soul, wasn't it? Yeah, no, it was like a Guilty Gear X, not like uh, that. I thought that I thought the Crusade's costume was Guilty Gear X costume. It's probably Crusade's then. Uh... <laughs> Like I, when I, I when love said, how the second we started talking about the munitia of Guilty Gear, Cody immediately muted himself. Oh, I, I muted a cough. I I muted know, a cough. I'm not saying you did anything bad. It's just more of the the right. funny optics in my head. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, 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 as much as a Guilty Gear fan, I am. I still get the terminology mixed up. I thought when you meant Crusades, you meant like Holy Order. So yeah, uh, it, it happens. You know, you're not always gonna. So people gotta be a people like you're not gonna know everything about a thing to be a fan, you know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, but yeah, I got uh, Ryu, uh, Kazuya's in there. Like the Persona characters are in like <laughs> the the Astrobot. Like you got like uh, representatives from all the modern games. Uh, like you got uh, the robot girl. You got Aegis. Um, Aegis, yeah. I I, I know. I, Boy, go Persona Three is my favorite video game of all time. <laughs> and yet you didn't you just say her reminded name. me. I know her game. game. I played. The Aegis, uh, Teddy from well, uh, what, What's the game called? The game was called Aegis. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah, but like, and then, uh, <laughs> of course, Joker from Persona 5. So, yeah, you got all representatives from all the modern games. Uh, that's really cool. Um, what else did they... They got Crash in there. I think Spiral's in there. They just got, just got a lot of cool, like, little cameos. And apparently they put them in, like, places where those characters would fit. Which, like, I, I saw a friend streaming the game, and I'm like, oh, they actually, like, thought about where to put these cameos properly, like, in, like, specific levels, and that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's not just, like, yeah, they're randomly splurged, it's like, no, like, the Metal Gear characters are all in one level. That's kind of like Snowy, with, like, Metal Gear 1, you know? So, um, I like it. I like stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. I love tastefully done fan service. It's fun. That's because there's nothing wrong with remembering. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with remember, especially because Astrobot, like from what I've seen in like played of the playroom demo, it's like still moving the gaming forward and like 
despite it all, you know? Like, despite it's, like, reminiscent and old school ways, it's still, like, hey, we're gonna give you buttery smooth controls. We're gonna give you all this, like, cool stuff, you know? To, like, advance the, the techniques, you know? Yeah. And it's, it's just a marker of, like, hey, Sony, if you actually fucking worked on the games, you, you'd have a bigger library. Yeah, instead of just these, like, very high-budget, like, very limited appeal games, you know? Or just listen to the anything the fans are saying at any given moment. Yeah. Give us Bloodborne 2. Give us Bloodborne 2. They want to make a Bloodborne 2. People if even want... the company's like, yeah, we want to, Sony's like, man, what do we got to do about games? Yeah, they want to port it. They want to port it to the PC. They want to port Bloodborne to the PC. Well, I just saw, like, yesterday that they they were able, you're now able to boot Bloodborne on PC illegal. Well, that's like a fan thing, but like I, I would know. love an official port. Like people, they want to do a Bloodborne like modern port. Like the the all the all the people behind Bloodborne, they really want to do a modern port. But like they they literally said we can't we we can't confirm anything. Otherwise, Sony will get our asses. You know, Sony needs to get their own ass and gear. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We could have another like Twisted Metal crossover, or for God's sakes, like bring Twisted Metal back in some way. Yeah, I mean they they had like a reboot in 2013, but that that kind of fell off. So it's like yeah, like, you know, just do something, like, or even just make cool new games like like Astrobot in the style of ago. those old games. You know, just I, I don't know. They're, they're, I'm sorry to be the like, oh, I'm the fan. I can fix everything. I'm not trying to do that, but it's just it's just. I mean, it's not even worth saying. Oh, we know better. Do this. It's hey, these are things that people want. Maybe try them. Yeah. It's not saying yeah. we're not, we know better. It's just like, hey, you have the ingredients. Cook the Cook burger. It. Cook. If I mean, they were fans of the old thing for a reason. If new people who don't know the thing get access to said thing and then see the growing fat around it, boom, you got a resurgence of said thing. Yeah. That, I that's... mean, look at Devil May Cry 5. That's kind of what happened with that. Yeah, you know, like, DMC is, like, one of the biggest Capcom franchises. I mean, it's always kind of been one of the biggest ones, but, like, even bigger than it was before, you know? It kept upward momentum. It's been the bit. It's been one of the biggest for the people who unironically call Capcom Cap God. Yeah, that's a great way to put it. <laughs> but, like, it's always been just a good, solid game to play. Like, it never was a massive hit. It was just, like, no, it did its job. It, it, it sold units. Yeah. And after four, it kind of died out. the The yeah. bad press of DMC happened. Yeah, and then they were like, "DMC five, it's going to be a fun entry point because we have a brand new point of view character. Well, not brand brand new, but like, like easy forward. accessible point of view character. It's going to be yeah. a one and done story. It's going to reference things of the past, but we're going to make sure you have all the context. Yeah, and it's going to be fun and inviting gameplay and." Everybody who was already a Devil May Cry fan was like, fuck yeah, this is great. Hey, this game's going to be good. And all the people who have heard of DMC just were like, oh, th there's a new one? I'll try it. Yeah. And like they already had the collections to catch up. So, yeah. It was like, now it's Suno's done his job and now he's leaving Capcom. God bless. I hope his next project is uh, something to be special. Or he say, like, re retires in joy. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, he's still gonna be around for, like, a couple more months. Yeah. But, like, you know, at this point, it's like, you know, I've done all I can. I've done Dragon's Dogma 2, I've done DMC5, uh, Project Justice, and Capcom vs. SNK are, like, in good hands. Uh, like, some people are like, oh, is Devil May Cry over? It's like, nah, Devil May Cry already survived, like, a Kamiya purge. And I feel like, you know, the point of DMC5 is to, like, hey, we want to try something new, you know? Yeah. Like, hands-on face, is Devil May Cry over? <laughs> I, I mean, Maximilian dude literally made a video talking about those responses, going like, "No, yeah. like the only the only games of Capcom's I think that haven't had uh like a possibility of any more titles are ones that were so intently surrounding one creative vision that it's hard to kind of." pivot to a different one yeah like uh beautiful just, joe is one yeah. i i would put into that category um uh um yeah and at least port the games at this point just like what's the fifth game what's the uh, god hand Shinji god Mikami. hand at least port those games I actually was just playing god hand earlier it's, it's pretty fun uh, i'm just thinking is god hand like a precursor 
spiritually to uh, to to um high fighting rush. I I don't think so because like they're I'm like making they a make... joke. It's, this is yeah, a joke. I know it's a joke, but like I like to think seriously, boy. <laughs> You underestimated my power. No, I underestimated your ability to take a joke. Mr. Dude. Yeah, that too. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Uh, no. Sony, stop being idiots. Sony, stop wasting too much money. Sony, when when are we going to get another fucking, uh, uh, what is it, Wipeout? Wipeout, yeah. Or like a Crash bur- Burnout? Burnout Paradise? Or not Burnout? No, no, no. I'm talking about the, the floaty... Future Racer. Yeah, from, that's what I'm talking uh, about. Uh, uh, Wipeout. I think one it's at the Wipeout. start of the PS4's lifestyle, but it was like a redo. Yeah, it was like a trilogy remake. Uh, Where, where's another Infamous? I mean, I guess Sucker Punch is busy with Ghost of Tsushima or whatever. It's oh, game. that's the same company. They're, yeah, they're pumping out Ghost. See, that's the thing is like we had that resurgence of like samurai games, and now we're like in like there's two this year. Yeah, we, and, we're burnt out already. It's just like tough. It's just tough. That's not yeah. even counting the fact that there's still there's still rumor, not rumor, semi confirmed, not confirmed. Switch two news happening this year. Yeah, I think I think we're getting closer. I think like either I, I don't know when they would re- maybe next, maybe 5 like Pro. maybe like in yeah. January because it's like would would they want to like do. Would they want to like screw up everything or like like screw up holiday sales? Be like, well, I'll just wait for the Switch too. So like that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Got that grind set. Get get on that Sigma grind set. It's Sigma from Mega Man X grind set. Let's go. No. Also, speaking of grind set, I think I got Doctor Doom in Fortnite. Yes, I did. Awesome. Hell yeah, buddy. Yeah, I got Doom. Of course, I still have to like get do a couple more things to get like the f- final doom. Uh, uh, the- final doom? <laughs> I knew, I knew, I knew you were gonna say that immediately as soon as I started saying words. <laughs> oh shit! There's a new doom episode. Wait, when? Mm-hmm. Uh, officially released by Bethesda, Night Dive, and like one other studio because they did a brand new re-release of uh, Doom. This time on the Kex Engine, I think. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, the re-release, and they yeah they included some new content. They, oh, yeah, they added new weapons and new enemies, mm. and a lot of people are kind of yeah. A lot of people are theorizing that maybe some of it is um going to be referenced in the Dark Ages game. Yeah, I keep forgetting they're doing Dark Ages, but like, hey, that's a that's a really cool idea for a game. So I hope I hope the game is good. Yeah, new new Doom episode. That's kind of fucking cool. Yeah. Like I, like I, I haven't really heard many people. I mean, granted, I don't really follow Doom stuff, so new one looks cool. Yeah, yeah. I hope the new one is good. That was like the only thing from that like Microsoft showcase that I actually liked. What else? What else happened on the Nintendo Direct that we had not a chance? To talk uh, about? Trails. Trails is getting a remake. The first Trails oh, yeah. of game. That's a big. That's a big deal for a lot of people, specifically my friends. Uh. Let me let me look at the Nintendo Direct. They have like timestamps for like all the. They had uh, a lot of good indie announcements. That's fun. Yeah, they 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 did like it was a combo direct because it was like it was a combo direct because it was like hey it's like gonna half of it's gonna be an indie world half of it's gonna be um uh like just a partner showcase um uh yeah Trails in the Sky uh SpongeBob Patrick Star game that's fun doesn't look bad it looks it looks neat. It makes total sense to do like a fun physics uh goofy puzzle game with Patrick and SpongeBob franchise. Yeah, it's, it's because they want to like uh, goat, a sim. goat simulator, yeah. Yeah. Uh Dragon Quest 3, just reminding people that exists. Oh, this was a cool one. Uh Castlevania Dominius collection. Yeah. I got I bought that on my Steam Deck and it's great. It's a great collection. Even includes a brand new Castlevania game, Haunted Castle Revisited. Which is a very fun game, even though the final boss makes me want to uh, blow my socks off, and not in a good way. I forgot, uh, Funko Fusion is still happening. Apparently that comes out the same day as the Marvel vs. Capcom collection, uh, Make the Choice. And the big one they ended with was Yakuza Kiwami's on Switch. Yeah. Interesting that they didn't went with Zero, but okay. Zero might be a little much. You can, you can downgrade Kiwami a little bit. Yeah, Zero's a lot of content, but like Kiwami runs on the Zero engine is the thing. So, like, you know, so it's, like, the beginner. But I also don't understand. I want to have, like, a Yakuza thing on Switch to tie in with the 
uh, Amazon Prime drama. Yeah. But, you know, it's an Amazon Prime Yakuza drama. Yeah, coming soon, like uh, next month. It stars Commander Drive as uh, Kiryu. Going from a cop to a criminal. Also, uh, oh yeah, um, Pizza Tower's on Switch. Yeah. It's good, good. Yeah, Pizza Tower. Oh, we could, there's there's some Minecraft, new, I mean, video oh, game. Do we, oh, great. <laughs> All right, let's pull this band in. I completely forgot we would actually talk about this on the podcast. Uh, it's not good. It doesn't look good. Oh boy, the Jack Black fall off arc is even worse than I thought. Uh, but he's like, Steve. I am Steve. Uh, okay. You know what's the thing that the the worst thing about all of this is? What? There's been some posters with like what the creeper is is kind of supposed to look like, and it's furry. I'm going like, no, creeper's not furry. It it literally looks like the, those HD texture packs, like Nintendo hired this man graphics. <laughs> yeah, no, it really does too. Like it, it really, really looks like that shit. Like I think, I think they saw that and drew direct inspiration from that because they thought that was popular without understanding that that was popular to make fun of. Yeah, it's and also what else? Uh, just it's very like it's an isekai plot. I'm kind of over that. Um. And uh, like you know, the the reaction to the trailer has been also weird because you have people like be like critiquing it for dumb reasons. Where it's like Minecraft's supposed to be a survival game. Why is there jokes in it? It's like the guys. The problem is th- th- this movie is not that there's gonna be jokes. Is that the, the jokes look bad? Uh, <laughs> and I mean, here's the thing: in uh, in a lot of official Minecraft material already, it is meant to be comedic, comedic and humorous. Yeah. Yeah, Minecraft story mode. Like Minecraft like it, Dungeons. It's Minecraft not. Legends. It's not a ooh survival. It's uh, it's surviving. We're doing. We're doing it right. Yeah, there's silly stuff. Like know, literally, one of the creatures in Minecraft is a fucking sentient pinata looking motherfucker. Yeah, I'm just like Jack surprised Black that this likes is a war- Minecraft. I don't get it, man. It's I don't even like Jack Black's problem right now. He's like kind of the least of the movie's problems. Oddly enough, it's just that like the graphics. For lack of a better, the special effects just don't look good. You know what it is? The what? Minecraft movie looks like a video game adaptation from the year 2016. True. It all the like characters, Warcraft. All the characters look like extras from a Katy Perry music video. Did y'all see the uh, Fortnite Season 2 or Season X or whatever comparison? No. Where, like, no. <laughs> there's that, like, poster where, like, all the like all of that season's Fortnite characters are standing on a cliffside. Looking oh. out over the new map, and for some reason, whatever I don't know, uh, they're like color matched. Every single character in the Minecraft movie in that shot is color matched to like that Fortnite poster. <laughs> huh. I it wouldn't really make sense for it to be a reference like that because like that's not they don't really like cross over like that. Ever. Not even the fan bases. Ever. But yeah, Minecraft movie doesn't look great. It's kind of weird that that's like the kind of the first twenty twenty five tra- movie trailer we've gotten. At least for like the big blockbusters. Oh, that's. Uh, I think that one's block is already busted. Yeah. Minecraft joke. <laughs> Minecraft jokes. Yeah, but like, oh man, I'm like, I, I, I enjoy Minecraft, so it's kind of like disappointing to be like, oh great, the movie's not gonna be great. I guess. Oh, well, Sonic Three is gonna be fun at least. True. Hopefully, um, don't want to jinx it. I mean, it, looks, it, look, it at least looks like a six out of ten. So at least, like, I'm hoping for like an eight or seven. Yeah. I think Keanu's gonna levitate the uh, the gravitas. overall involvement. Yeah, he's gonna yeah. bring it in there. I, mean, I wish he got more lines in the new trailer. Yeah, but you know, who knows they want to save me. surprises, surprises. Yeah, right? and like at least Shadow looks great. He looks amazing. Did you see the new like Sonic Three toys? Because they look really good. No, I haven't. they do. Yeah, like they have like articulation. Like they're they're, they're super articulated. Like, the articulation is insane on them, and they just look really nice here. I'm going to find some pictures of them. It's weird, because the packaging is, like, the cheapest, like, it almost looks a bit bootleg, they're, because they're they have to reuse toys. assets from the previous movies. Well, they're $10 toys, though. Yeah, well, I'm, ta- I'm, ta- well, I'm talking about, like, the packaging, because it's, like, that they, they could keep the surprise they had to reuse assets on the packaging from the previous movie. They couldn't make any, like, new renders. But the actual, like, figures themselves look great, you know what I mean? Like, they look extremely good for $10 toys. Yeah, those don't look bad. Yeah. The fucking scale compared to Jim Carrey, though. Yeah, it's great. 
Yeah, this is what I mean by packaging, where it's like, okay, it's just Sonic 3 logo, and then, it like, okay, reused assets from the second movie. There. That's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm just like, I, I noticed these things. And it's well, like, this is supposed to be Sonic really 3. Good. Yeah, the figures do look like, great. Ridiculously and, like, good. Yeah. Especially like, those characters. Yeah. Um, and the, the cool thing is, uh, like, someone you tested got little, Shadow's... Like, Toyba's style hand. Yeah. Someone tested uh, Shadow's hands with the freaking spawn gun pack, and it works really well, so you can... Oh, that's good. Yeah. We need to figure out what motorcycle would work in good scale with him. Yeah. Maybe Unless they'll they're do, like, releasing a... a motorcycle. I don't think they are. Uh, like, maybe it'll Honestly, be, like, a Honestly, with the size he is, probably a Marvel Legends motorcycle. Yeah. Because sure. they're, like, a five-inch... Specifically the Punisher's motorcycle. Yeah. Yeah, these these are really good looking toys. Like I've actually like I haven't been excited for toys in a bit, and like but these Sonic Three toys actually got me really excited. I at least want the Shadow one. <sighs> and I do hope they make like more. Like apparently this is just the first wave of Sonic Movie Three stuff. I do hope like we of course we're gonna get Knuckles. We're gonna get like probably the, Gerald. The Jack specific um specific uh I don't know whoever makes the Sonic toys. Jack They've specific been out of the yeah. park with their. Uh... Um, yeah. toys there. I think they've had the license since Sonic Boom. I think I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. I, I'm only like recent. I just like I just decided to randomly look into the Sonic Three toys, and I'm like, oh, these are really good. So I'm not like a historian or whatever. Yeah, the toys for the new um, is it New York City or whatever the new Sonic uh, Prime? Sonic Prime Sonic Prime yeah yeah those toys are pretty interesting. They got a lot of robot characters. Yeah, I mean Sonic Prime so is filled with robots. So, but is it filled ah. with robots? Uh, no, because the show ain't that good. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to like Prime, man. I wanted to like it, but I just couldn't. You you do like Prime. You just gotta put Metroid in front of it. Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. I'm coming in with the jokes. I'm coming in with the good comedy bits. Comedy. We're doing jokes. It's comedy. It's the Boingo Comedy Hour featuring Boingo. Uh, what else uh, can get revealed? Not can get revealed, but like... Uh, you can I'm buying discuss. this when it hits Ollie's or Ross. I'm betting that this is going into Ollie's or Ross. I will be buying it when Big it hits. Big Bad Toy Store. Let me check this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. These are 100% Ollie and Ross father. That just sounds like a fucking sitcom. <laughs> Ollie and Ross. It does sound like, like an old ass sitcom. Honestly, these look re- like the, the one thing I, I like the prime, from Prime is like the aesthetics. Like I'm like I like the robot characters like especially so it's like it just kind of sucks. I'm like man, I wish I could like more of Prime like than just uh, how it looks, you know? They're not because I feel like like when, when, when Sonic fans say this is bad writing, everything they say uh, they don't like about Sonic is kind of in Prime at least in terms of writing. I don't know. I, I'm just rambling at this point. I, That's rough. Yeah, That's rough, buddy. But, yeah, it's it's fine though. Like like hey, you know sometimes. Cool toy's cool toy, you know. Sometimes a cool toy is a pool toy. Yeah, great. Now I got me, you got me looking at Big Bad Toy Store, Cody. Oh, they oh, reissued uh, the Legacy Armada. I still want that, but it's like ninety bucks, and now it's like you know, add up to a hundred. So. Oh, as of today, the uh, GI Joe Haslab Cobra Rattler has hit its third tier. Hell yeah, third tier. I thought like I knew it hit its stretch goal, but like or that stretch goal, but it's like main goal. Yo, there's yeah. a figure of the veteran from Metal, uh, the, the POW from Metal Slug. Nice. Oh, there's a bunch of Monster Hunter figures. These these look really neat, sick actually. Like the amazing Yamaguchi. Oh, that's that's a good. Oh yeah, I love those guys from Metal Slug Three. Those are funny guys. Children, children. Oh yeah, they also made an ad. They're reissuing the Astrobot and Android because of the new game. Yeah. Welcome to the Toy Hour, everybody. Welcome to Tower. Tower. It's about dang time. Oh, apparently oh, the uh, the thirty minute missions, thirty Mystic missions, yeah, the Knights ones might be the precursor to uh, well, that and the fact that they just did Armored War. Uh, we might be getting uh, Dark Souls kits. Ooh. Ooh, actually, do you know like that? They're making thirty minute missions, Bochi the Rock. Freaking oh, like, yeah. things. I don't know what that's that hilarious. Is. Okay, Bochi the Rock is a really funny anime. It's also like it's it's like one of my favorites of like recent memory. Uh, it, it's like it's like one of those cute girls doing cute things, but one of them has massive amounts of uh, social anxiety. anxiety. Yeah, they're doing like all four girls, uh, which is pretty cool. 
and uh, here's the main one. This comes out next year. But they announced, like, yeah, we're going to do all four. So you can do all of Ketsu- Ketsuko Band. And so the, it's and a little weird really to me. Music. I mean, I, I know they have been doing, like, their 30-minute sisters. So maybe that's a spinoff of that. Maybe that was just a way for them to try to do a good way to do buildable little mini... Uh, buildable anime figures better than, like, Rise Standard. Yeah, eyes. but that hey, just look. means that everything you see there is like compatible with like the thirty minute missions I like. So if you want a robot arm on that, you got it. <laughs> yeah. Hey Buster, they also made a, a a Fio figure. Oh, that's a really good Fio. What else has been? I'd like. I... I feel like you'd break those hands immediately. What do you mean by that, Cody? I mean, look at her like little fingers. They're all individual and tiny. Yeah, yeah they're you'd, like... they're they're small. Yeah, they're small little. They're kind of like all bricked up, like all like kind of a clumps. Great. Now I want to look at Bochi the Rock stuff on Big Bad Toy Store. Under like, because like I'm surprised they haven't announced the season two because like like they did the compilation movies did well. The like, uh, this is hilarious because they have. I'm looking at these metal slug fi- figures. Yeah, they have the two female characters looking like cute little anime girls, and then they have the two dudes looking like the character art from the game. Yeah, like the, <laughs> it's so funny. Like the freaking noses, it's it's great. This is great. They just Me and the boys. Like, they just look like fucking weirdos. It's great. Honestly, I might pick. I'm probably. I'm. I'm considering getting like into thirty minute missions for the little like bochi stuff. It's well, like, they're, wow. they're great figures. I got two regular thirty minutes sitting right behind me. Thankfully, like the core stuff is just going steady. But I realized the other day, I'm like, you know, it is it is the closest thing we're going to get to Bionicle because they're essentially just continuously building on those uh, pieces and then bringing them back and. Oh, he's still on the Bionicle cope. I'm never going to stop. <laughs> no, never going to. No, I, I love that. I love. I, that. No, I, I need you to understand that it is something more more than like anything else that i own like that like bionicle is like something very like core and like attached to me for some reason i'll what never you, be able to shake it what would you give up to have bionicle back in your life to be able to get it in the way that it was since the uh the canisters were pretty affordable compared to like marvel legends and stuff on the shelf and stuff like that i'd want the canisters again <laughs> i would probably give maybe i mean i could I could see you wanting that over quite a lot of things, honestly. Maybe Marvel Legends, maybe Black Series. Maybe. I don't know about I think G.I. Black Joe. Series can go. I think Black Series can go. Like I've heard mixed things about that line in recent memory, so or maybe it's just... doing really good robots. I just haven't had money to experience. Ah, uh, because I know Simeon always complained about uh, Black Series whenever we talked about that. It was like, oh, Black Series, that's the worst. <laughs> maybe he can sound like Mister Plinkett. Uh... I mean, he is our Mister Plinkett. Yeah, he was our Mr. Plinkett. Rest in peace. Rest rest in pieces, and Even though you come on this podcast more than you should. <laughs> That's mean, I'm sorry. Throwing the shots out today, baby. Yay. I mean, you can always go to the doghouse now. We ain't got room for no kitties. Damn. Damn, boy. We're all just wearing those, like, old dog shirts. The like bad dog clothing brand. I know. Th- oh Buster, yeah. There's like no chance you like that is some. Uh, yeah, you're getting dark... a bit too obscure for me. <laughs> that that's is like some. That is that's like dark white people co- core like. What? Yeah, that does sound very white. I think they're still around. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. they're still around. I'm just. Boingo, like... we'll whip up, whip up some uh, pictures. I'm, I'm getting it. I'm doing it, bud. I'm. Wait, like pictures of you guys? No, we. I never owned one. Oh, uh, Okay. Also, Cody, I found the uh, listing for the train re-release because they're re-releasing the Go Onger and Tokyo Dramax. I found the listing for the train one. So, Is that Super Mini Plot again? Not Super Mini Plot. It's like a different. It's like Robo Universe. It's a new line of like, hey, you can interchangeable have guys too. Yeah, interchangeable. So you can like, but like, because Tokyo Jir and Go Onger and the new Super Sentai uh, Boon Boon Jir, uh, you can just you know put. Just this is an excuse to re-release them with like a extra articulation. So this might be like the best version of these robots you can get. Oh my god! Uh, on their website, under under the graphic tease section, big attitude, humor, big attitude. hobby, mm-hmm. chest stripe, patriotic, patriotic. They've always kind of been like that. That's pretty yeah. much exactly. Oh my god! 
fucking we're going into a very dark this is dark this is this life. is hilarious this is like check your entire no can only handle this so is hilarious pain. it is hilarious but i can only handle so much hilarious in a bad way it is it is yeah. like it's it, it is like watching a 50 year old man and just cringing that they haven't gotten why out of are they all furry stuff because that's the brand. It's a big dog. Big dog. Also, I should clarify, I have nothing against furry. <laughs> I do. Dang, Cody. Way to out yourself that way. I'm here taking shots at every single <laughs> furby <laughs> known to man. Nah, that's actually a based uh, thing. But, like, Furbies talk to the paw? Really? I still have my furby, actually. I found it. Oh. It's the like, giraffe pattern one. Like dark, dark white people shit. It was either they were wearing what was it? It was like that those shirts with those painted fish. Uh huh. A Jimmy Buffett shirt or a big dog shirt for a while. See, the only reason I know about Jimmy Buffett's because of that one uh, video. Uh, what's his name? Eddie Burback did uh, on his uh, restaurant chain. Literally months before he passed away. So like everyone kept commenting on the videos, like, oh man, this guy. His hand is timing. It was like that, okay. This is what they is... also used to do, like movie poster parodies. Buster, I want you to understand one important thing that we haven't really covered about these this shirt. What? Uh, there used to be like stores in the mall selling just these shirts. Mm -hmm. That's evil. In other and like mini malls would have mm -hmm. a store dedicated to like just like walls of that sh that brand shirt. It even like started to bleed into like the deep redneck area, and they copied it doing the bucked up uh, branding, where it was like That's the crazy. Movie. This is well, like pure su suburban white dad who mows the yard every weekend and thinks their burgers are the best kind of shit, you know. And just know that the chance of one of these things triggering and activating one of the uh, furry sleeper cells out there in the deep south. 100 percent there's no All chance right. at gotcha. least this one one's just for, i'm just showing this one for cody that, that, that has cody. evil cody if he was evil <laughs> garth barks <laughs> that's not so bad yeah all right what what else wait what were we gonna talk about before we got distracted i don't know big dogs is a thing everybody don't look into it unless you're Morbidly curious on a Saturday night, like us. <laughs> uh, Screw it, I'm opening Twitter. What, what, what cursed shit? I'm actually going to open Blue Sky first. Oh my, my there, there are some old designs that have to have been around for forever. Because look at this shit, Cody. I'm fearful. Bone cold Steve Poston. Open up a can of wolf ass. That's the gayest shirt I've ever seen in my life. Like without it, a doubt. You can still buy it. You can buy it right now on I their don't website. Big dogs. It's it's twenty four ninety nine. This is essentially like the there was an an untold, unreported battle royale of like T shirt mascots. And in it is when we lost Sponge Pimp Pimp Pants or whatever. The classic county fair SpongeBob wearing the green pimp suit. Oh uh, yeah. Holding like cash. And out on top climbed for no good reason. The shittiest of all the shits. Dang. What do you, hold on. Do they even have like a thing of like, what's their story? Oh, what is the backstory behind this cursed? Like, here's the thing. Their regular ass fucking logo ain't, ain't, ain't good, but, but it isn't like what the fuckery, like the other shirts I've been showing you have been. Like, you could, you could understandably, reasonably understand why they, like that could be you no. Know. There's a ghost NASCAR shirt. Yeah, there it is. In 1983, a group of friends in Santa Barbara left home for a river rafting expedition. One member of the group made nylon shorts as a uniform they're all to wear. When one of the friends tried them on for the first time, he said, Man, those puppies are big. And from there, oh. Big Dog's clothing was born. Over the it's next. It's literally the Fantastic Four meme. The fan four stick me. Uh, I was like, say that again. <laughs> Over the next forty years, Big Dogs became a worldwide phenomenon and household name. It's been featured in some of the most iconic movies, television shows, and pop culture moments. 
our collection of graphic tees, lifestyle apparel, and accessories. Reflect on the recipe of quality, value, and fun. Welcome to it, Buster. You, your eyes have been blind to this. Maybe your entire existence, and now you'll only ever be able to perceive it from this point forward. Yeah. You'll see it in the movies. You'll see it in advertisements. You'll see it in old sports. You'll find it in your closet. You'll never even know it was there. Latest DLC patch right now, right here. <laughs> Big Dog's t-shirt. Uh, just imagine someone wearing a Big Dog t-shirt and Jinko jeans. I don't want I'm just so, like, kerfuffled right now. Uh, I, I would, you know what? I would love to see Cody in Jinko jeans. <laughs> I would just look like Ed from Ed. <laughs> <laughs> no, you need to. I'd look like Squid from a Rocket Power. <laughs> I, I, I pretty much always have looked like Squid from Squidward. Buster, you are a woogity woogity woogity. Right, half and half. Hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll display a picture of Jinko jeans for you. Here, here we go. Here, here is a, here is a grouping of. Of gene enthusiasts, otherwise uh, known no, as federal okay, look, See, I know about jeans. I just don't know what qualifies as Jinko jeans. I don't. That made super wide legged pants that were popular for a hot second, in like late nineties, early two thousands. Yeah. <laughs> if you oh, wanted some proof large that... ass jeans. If you wanted proof that the planet is healing up, when you look back at like the steampunk, not the steampunk era, but like industrial revolutionary era and see everybody wearing all these like heavy cotton ass coats in the summer and shit like that. And then look back into like the late nineties and see everybody running around in pants like that skateboarding in California and stuff like that. It makes you wonder. You think. It, makes it, it, makes, it makes you curious. It makes you go like, what the fuck's going on with the world? Are we dying? Are we, are we slowly killing ourselves with carbon? Yeah. Yeah. Need for Speed Carbon. Not Need for Speed. I don't even know anything about that game. I just know. Same. It's just, the name it's, of just game. it's just a, it's a funny title. I am on the Jinko website, and it's just people just the, the the pictures for the pants, and one of them is just wearing an Apex Twin T-shirt. I mean, they, I they I have ran to be as steam. they have to be as uh, accurate as possible. Mm-hmm. Out of steam, you say, huh? Trying to bail on us, trying to give up. No, no, I'm just, I'm legit. Like, I, I've, I've exhausted my topics. I don't know what else. I'm trying Talk to about me. yourself. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing actually pretty good. Uh, minus the steam right now. I just, uh, you know, working on videos. Don't want to say too much because things always change and stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm working on like a big collaborative project with a bunch of people I like. So that's gonna be fun. Hell yeah. Yeah. You and you can... go may or may not be in it. We'll see. Hell yeah. You can buy a, a chain wallet from Jinko. Oh. Complete the look. Complete the look. Get Or you could just look. go into Boingo's closet. Yeah, just go to Boingo's closet. It's super easy. They're not in my closet. Dang it. I know they're in my room. They're just not in my closet. Oh right, let's go to his room. For for a good good while I had a slipknot chain wallet. Why though? Is it just like available? Yeah. I also had a Punisher one. Uh, we used to just wear comic stuff all over the place. People still even do around that. that time. It wasn't like super, yeah, super popular like it is now. It was growing though. Yeah, but like at that time, I had like a Punisher shirt and a Venom shirt, and I don't think I had any others. I don't. I, did, I never had a Superman shirt. Superman, oh, you know, you know, you know, yeah, you know. No. Do you know? Does he know? Does does Buster know? What do I know? Do you know about Big Dog's clothing brand? I already, we already learned we about that. <laughs> Buster is officially a big dog. Big yeah. dog in the house. No, um, Jesus. You, you, I, I'm not saying you couldn't handle coming down south, but you would be Easy. going like, what the fuck is going on? I already oh. get I already say that a lot when I go downtown to Chicago. So. Chicago. Chicago. So it's like, you know, you're not wrong. I just okay. I'm always kind of flabbergasted at so many things. Yeah. But there's there is a distinct flabbergastery of the South. Yeah. Specifically Florida. Like yeah. 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 Absurdity. That Absurd. that's a, that's a good way to describe it. it. It's a very absurd place to live. Isn't that everywhere to live? Yeah. 
Oh, you want to hear something fucked up? What? Okay. So, to the audience, I have been working on my self. Uh, I am now in a position where I will get, it's hard to describe, but I kind of basically have a job that's a lot more like no structure. It's they call when they need work, but it's good. It's not bad pay. It's good pay. All this stuff. Don't worry. It's good. This is a good thing. Uh, but as I was leaving the onboarding meeting, I was heading back to my place from Jacksonville, which is uh, about an hour 15 south. All right. As I was driving, it started pouring so hard that uh, I have no AC in my car. Uh, so the windows were up. It was hot and muggy in the car. The window started fogging up. I couldn't see a thing. And I was having to go 70 miles per hour on uh, a fucking interstate. <laughs> Oh, that's scary. At least, like, you're talking here, so you're alive, so... Oh, yeah. No, it was it was white-knuckling that, that whole time. It was not fun. Yeah. Uh, I eventually had to just pull over to, to, to uh, a Circle K and sit for, like, 30 minutes, let the rain pass by a little bit. Yeah, I just get to relax, you know? Uh, it, it, was, it was not great. Yeah, it was not great, but at least you got to relax. Like, no way the right thing. hot and buggy fogging everywhere the spray from the road was also super intense so that was making the whole thing gray and i don't know if it's like this in other places but up and near jacksonville the yeah. roads are made of a light concrete material uh-huh. and, the road mar- and the road markers are white with a black accent so i couldn't even see where the road markers were because it was so base gray looking out i was i just it was not fun well you'll do better next time we believe in you <laughs> next time baby oh, so, it, speaking it, of it, next time i think that's you think that's a, that you think that's a podcast yeah you want that to be a podcast yeah uh i don't even feel like plugging my stuff <laughs> today well come on plug buster stuff all right no all right. no buster yeah we love and appreciate you I, I just need to head out. I'm just tired. We love you. We... All right, yeah, see you later, fellas. All right. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll play Buster shit. Hey, go support Buster on YouTube at, at Buster Core. Buster Core? Buster Core. Uh, and the links are in the description. Go s- s- follow them on social medias. Do all the things. Why don't you tell the people where they can find you? Never underscore robot at instant ramification dot slamo mundnamo. Hell yeah. And you, you and I'm Boingo Writer. You can find me in a variety of places online at YouTube at Boingo Writer, uh, forward slash Boingo Writer on Twitch, and a uh, variety of other social media platforms. Links in the description. I hope you had fun with this podcast. Give us a like, leave us a comment down below. Uh, Frickity Frack, subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, follow us on a podcast platform of choice. Do you have any last words, Cody? Piccadilly will probably be my last word. Okay. Because it's happening right now, but no, I'm just kidding. Oh, no. <laughs>